Despite advances in modern treatment, diabetes remains a serious condition by all accounts. If the balance of sugar in the blood is too high or low, the symptoms can be severe. I found myself getting very, very thirsty and very, very stressed. And then one day, driving home from Bristol, I couldn't read the road signs. And uh, my daughter tested me for diabetes and my blood sugars were very, very high indeed. So that's what started my diabetes. Beyond that of sight impairment and unquenchable thirst, there are other long-term health risks. Raymond Hale is the chairman of the Fairham and Gosport Diabetes Group, and he explains how too much sugar in the blood can lead to much more serious consequences. We've got serious problems in Fairham and Gosport. We've had the highest amputation rate for diabetics in the country last year. Part of the problem is obviously getting care from the NHS, and they're dealing with that. But the other side is for people like me to make sure that we look after our diabetes and particularly look after our feet. Because if we get any problems with our feet, they must be attended to very quickly. Otherwise, very, very quick, soon you can get gangrene. And there's no option to cut, cut your toe off or to cut even the leg off, which has happened to some, some of my friends. It isn't only Fairham and Gosport with high amputation rates. Across West Hampshire, diabetic amputations is historically high, with roughly 38 amputations for every 10,000 people. The national average is 26. These figures represent a significant increase from 2010 to 2012. Christine Bartlett was diagnosed with diabetes five years ago. She fell asleep one night in her home in Southampton and woke up in intensive care, having fallen into a coma overnight. Circulation to her left foot had stopped, so the decision was made to amputate the limb. What had caused it in the first place, the whole of my leg, my foot and my leg, had given up the ghost, had gone dead on me. I woke up in intensive care, got the shock of my life, because to find out I was um, where I was and what had happened. And it was while I was there, my family were asked to come in and the consultant spoke to them as well. And they agreed that I should have an amputation. Christine had a prosthetic made for her and life has returned to relative normality, but she still had advice to give to other diabetics. To make a fuss at their own surgery to begin with, to make sure that they get a GP or a doctor or somebody to look at them, and then if that doctor was concerned, or alternatively, uh, go to the general themselves and go to A&E or somewhere and demand to be seen.